What's wrong with wrestling? Or maybe the bigger, more important question is, what's wrong with entertainment in general, as an industry now? You know, one of the great things about the internet is it provides opportunities and avenues and chances to people, including those that don't have a lot of resources to support them. In some ways, it can be a great equalizer, leading to all types of wonderful, uh, previously undiscovered talent, given opportunities to folks, given opportunities to folks to make good livings, fortunes even, just based on doing things on the interwebs. Think about it. Your parents, when you were a kid, used to tell you that playing video games is a waste of time. Now, as is so often the case when you think about the things your parents told you, you realize just how dumb and stupid they really were and how poor their life advice really was. Sure, you like to sit there and pretend like it was great and it was wonderful, but at the end of the day, you realize just how out of touch and wrong they really truly were. You could have been sitting there plying your craft, working on playing video games all the time, and maybe you could have been the next PewDiePie or any of these other Twitch guys or YouTube people making mid-six to seven figures streaming on the internet while playing video games and doing voiceovers. So, the internet on the one hand is a very fascinating thing. On the other hand, it's like it's created this environment where everybody thinks they could be a comedian. Everybody thinks they could be an actor. Everybody thinks they could be a rapper. Everybody thinks they could be a singer. Everybody thinks they can do makeup and beauty tutorials. Everybody can be an Instagram influencer. Like, like, what the hell is that even? You know, break. But it's almost like we've lowered the standards in areas such as people being able to get into things like television and movies. It's not about skill and talent anymore. It's much about networking, marketing, and blowing people or whatever the hell else to get your opportunities. It's crazy. Like, you know you see it. You see people that are legitimately talented, have wonderful ideas, that do quite well for themselves. And happy to see it. Happy to see it. Just because it's not me doesn't mean I have to hate on them. But then you look at other folks and you say, what in the hell is the deal there? You know you do. And it's okay. Because this world is not fair. There are all types of talented people out there. Some of them surely are you guys that may be watching this video that will never get a tenth of the opportunity that some of these other talentless ass clowns seem to get. They get lucky, fortunate, good breaks. You don't. World's not fair. And no, the dumb thing about, well, karma is a bitch and always come back. No, the hell it doesn't. Karma doesn't come to collect. That's just a dumb thing that losers and broke people in life try to tell themselves to make themselves feel better about their crappy plight in life. That's a fact. Anyways, beyond all those musings and ramblings, I see on the internet this week multiple stories talking about Becky Lynch and that the entertainment industry is interested in her. And now she's talking about advice she's getting from John Cena and The Rock for her, her acting career. I, 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 a what? A what? Your acting career? Don't you have to have one to talk about one? Now before, before the lynch looms and the Becky bots come after me in the comment section of this video, please keep the following in mind. That I'm the one they used to talk about for a long period of time that her old ring gear was stupid and made her look like crap. And she cleaned that crap up and actually pretended like she gave a crap about how she looked and presented herself. She might actually really legitimately get over. Ding dong, dumb dicks, once again, hashtag Schleg Daddy was right. When she got rid of this stupid fucking flyer look, all of a sudden it was a lot easier to take her more seriously. She looked better. She looked cleaner. She looked more professional. She looked like a bigger deal. I'm the one that sat there and talked about how stupid it was for the WWE to think that fans wanted to boo Becky Lynch when she turned on Charlotte when everything she was saying was valid and legitimate. She was the baby face! And the longer you fought against that, the more idiotic it was. Make her an edgy face and run with it. Oh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Look what happened, hashtag. Like Daddy was right.
But golly, golly, acting career? Oh, look at her. She's going to be featured in a major magazine. Just like she was on ESPN, the magazine. Where's that? Oh, it doesn't even exist anymore. It's hard to call that a big win. Hard, really hard to do so. You're going to celebrate something that would have been a big deal maybe 20 years ago? Like even if she was in Oprah's magazine, how much does that really matter anymore? It's a dying form of journalism and leave it to wrestling and people in the wrestling bubble to celebrate that like it's a big freaking deal. An acting career. You got to have one to talk about. And here's my thing. Here is my thing. If we want to talk about her ability to connect with the audience as a reason why the entertainment industry is fascinated with her, interested in her, how about get some more eyeballs and viewers in front of the television sets every week before we start talking about branching off and doing bigger and better things? Like, for Christ's sakes, even though we had to go through the decade of doom with Cena, and you watched as viewership declined over his decade of destruction, at least you could say this. Viewership numbers were markedly, significantly better between that decade of doom of Cena than where they are right now, with Becky Lynch being a linchpin of exactly what's been wrong and going on with WWE. But we're talking about acting career? She's talking about acting career? She's talking about the entertainment industry is interested in her for what? The product's losing viewers with her at the top. Even more than they did when he had seen at the top. And at least seen it one was infinitely longer. The hell is wrong with us? Hell's wrong with entertainment history and industry and wrestling and everything. She's not even a megastar in what the hell she does. She doesn't even measure up to Cena, let alone The Rock. And now we're talking about we're being interested in her for entertainment? For movies? For television? Why? Because she's making a split of second appearance in billions? Naughty freaking da! Like when you look at Becky Lynch, you had this good idea, this good character turn, that quickly became a parody of itself and became utterly and completely totally ridiculous. You went from something with Becky Lynch being organically fostered and nurtured and growing and developing and taking advantage of the opportunity to now, it is a pound and a force that isn't working. She comes across as phony. When you see something where she's trying to act, you can tell that she's trying to act. It's not believable. It's not real. It ends up being a... That's what it is. One big fart. Wet fart. At least you can say with Ronda Rousey. That while Becky Lynch's acting is not nearly as bad of overacting as Rousey, at least she could buy in and believe that Ronda Rousey is a legit badass. And whereas Charlotte Flair can't act to save her own life, at least you can look at Charlotte Flair and believe that's a bad bitch that would probably beat you up. Especially if you are married to her. Andrade, all I've got to say is watch your back, dog. Watch your back. Because if you don't, it's a roundhouse kick! Roundhouse kick! She don't care! Broken tits, new tits, fake tits, doesn't matter! Charlotte will beat your ass! You get none of those vibes with Becky Lynch. The character is lame. The performer comes across as hokey and corny and fake and forced. And now we're talking about acting careers and television and movies? How about be better at wrestling first? How about bringing fans back to their television sets? How about we do that? How about you actually produce at a level that would actually support the force that you have gotten for the past year before we start talking about the movies and television? Is this where we're at now? You get put into a spot with middling to less than middling results, and that's good enough, and you get other opportunities? 
Well, God bless freaking America. I thought the Chicago Bears were fucking stuck in a cycle of mediocrity on the midway. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. What's next? I mean, seriously, what's next? We're going to be talking about Tamina Snuka getting looks from the entertainment industry? Golly, give me a break. 